Welcome back friends, it's your old mate Peachmark. I've been playing a lot of World of Warcraft this week. So I wanted to do a video about the, um, the War Within, the pre-purchase of the Epic Edition. But first before we get that into that, I just want to give you a brief history about my World of Warcraft uh, history and experience. Uh, I've been playing WoW for a very long time, for uh, since basically beta to be quite honest and um, I've been jumping in and out of the expansions over the years and real life has sort of popped up every now and again changes in life etc so World of Warcraft gets put aside and then I re jump back in and again I've decided to come back I've decided to actually invest some good time in the game again and friends I'm telling you now I'm glad I've come back the uh, War Within going forward the expansion looks phenomenal the world building the lore it seems to answer a lot of the questions that were sort of been lingering in my mind or in fact other players minds for many years so i will give them that they have sort of um, rounded it a bit more made it a bit more accessible for veterans and for new players coming in and we'll go through that journey together my friends we'll learn the war within through the channel uh, we're going to go through the um pre-purchase uh, information tonight and a few little uh, bits of information that I've learned over my last week of playing and if you stay through to the end my friends I will give you a lot, nice little bit of information to help you gear up as well okay so let's get started with the War Within pre-purchase you do actually get the Dragonflight expansion and you do get uh, access going forward into the War Within which is the three current or the future expansions going forward you get your heart enhanced level 70 character boost which is one of the best boosts I've ever seen in game your eye level 424 425 I believe epic gear you've got your mounts you've got everything going on and it is overwhelming which we'll talk about you do get your 1000 uh, traders ten tenders as well which is your cosmetic um, purchasing in game as well. You get the Algarian uh, Storm Rider mount, so I'm just reading on the other screen. You do get your Storm Rider's attire. Now that is what Slazara is wearing right now. So that is the full set, minus the helm, obviously. But to be honest, my friends, it's one of the cleanest sets I've ever seen in game for a very long time and um, I love it I think it's absolutely amazing the lines the colors they've done it very well so I'm very happy thank you and uh, we do have the early access with the beta as well hopefully I will get early access I did opt in for the beta but we'll see how that goes um, they might say peace mock you don't need it just enjoy the game if that's the case I'm just gonna enjoy the game I'm not gonna rush it I'm not gonna demand it like I need beta access because I am blah 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 I'm just another gamer like you guys uh, you get 30 days of game time, which has been added to my account as well. You get Squirrely, the uh, hatchling pet. You get a sand, sandbox storm griffin toy. And you do get the deep dwellers earthen hearth stone effect as well. So let's talk about the boost because that was the starting point for me. And let's talk about the first couple of hours in Valdraken. So with the boost, you get um, eye level 424. So your character is actually fully ready to raid. Now this is what um, has been a bit of a, a bit of a sore spot for a lot of people because the misinformation about your character is raid ready. Yes, my friends, you are raid ready, but you do need to do some things. One of the things you need to do when you first boost your character is you actually need to learn dragon riding again. So you need to go back to the Waking Shore and you need to do that quest line. And then once you feel comfortable with that quest line and you've got yourself assimilated back into the game and then you start your campaign for the Emerald Dream. Now the way I did it my friends was the first couple hours after I was in Veldraken I was blown away. I was thinking yeah I've got a level, I level 424, 425 if I'm incorrect I apologize. I'm looking epic, I've just transmogged, I'm feeling epic you know back on the paladin grind I love pallies, you know, I started out as a holy pally, now I'm a protection paladin, you know, I'm feeling great. And then I'm like, well, what am I going to do? Like, I literally was lost, my friends. For two hours, I didn't know anything. I went back to Stormwind, I spoke to Chromie, 
Chrome was saying, well, listen, Peachmock, you can't do any further content until you go back and do the campaign. So I'm like, thanks, mate. So I went all the way back, came all the way back uh, to the Waking Shores. Actually came back to Valdrak and it was a lot easier. And then uh, started the leveling process again in the Waking Shores. Did my dragon riding for about, about an hour, did that quest chain and was like okay i'm comfortable now i i can um i feel more confident and friends don't don't even worry about taking any damage you're at level 70 you can you can smash anyone that's no issue any npc whether it be uh, bosses through the quests or whatever through the campaign you're going to take them down no problem at all i guarantee it it's a lot it's a lot easier this time around and um so i got comfortable with the dragon riding like okay i'm back into it and then straight up into the Emerald Dream. So I went through the Emerald Dream campaign, which is around 24 hours to do, so around two hours casual game time, and I completed the Emerald Dream last night. I was very emotional, being a lore nerd, I was blown away with the little bit of information and the absolute detail they had put into uh, every part of the campaign. I just was like blown away. You will have a tear in your eye, I can guarantee it. I'm not gonna spoil it. It is a phenomenal playthrough. You have to play it, you have to play it anyway. And I recommend it. Do not sit back and not do this content as soon as you can, okay? Because you're a level 70 and you can do pretty much anything you want. Um, going back into that, going back about the boost, about uh, what I got. So when I boosted my character, um, level 70, uh, 424, um, I level and I had all these mounts coming up on screen. I was like, oh wow, I've got all this amazing stuff. Let's, let's start playing around with the um, transmogging of my mount system. So you've got your proto drake if you've done Dragonflight before, and then you've got some new mounts in game as well. So I'm going to show you everything that I um, have got so far, and I'll show you the customization uh, items you can do with your mounts as well. So to bring back my UI, Shift Z for me. Here we are. This so locker, wow, well, it just blows me away absolutely blows me away let's get rid of that because we don't need that i hate world Cry rumble it's a bit weird so the first mount that you do get is the algarian storm rider mine's golden um, i went with the golden cosmetic because i think it suits my paladin very well and um, we changed a few things so we're going to head over here so what i did when i first arrived and once i got my head around a few things i decided let's go over to the rostrum of transformation Veldraken and let's start looking at customization now in this screen you're going to have all the mounts that are available towards you you get so you get your proto drake you get your uh, windborn highland cliffside winding you get the algarian and you do get your flourishing this is a quest uh the flourishing is from a quest so you do unlock a few more as you go through okay so I'm not going to go through each customization on each um, Drake, but I'm going to show you what they look like in game. There's that one there. This is the one I use quite often, the Highland Drake. I have been doing slowly the cosmetics for this one, uh, unlocking as I go, and that's through either questing, uh, world drops, um, dungeons, etc., etc. In game, in Dragonflight, you'll start unlocking the cosmetics. You know how to do that, I'm assuming. If you don't, just play the game. It all drops over time obviously cliffside kind of like that drake as well i think um we'll probably play yeah i've got a new skin color what are oh new spikes okay blood spikes mm, colors that skin color no it has to be that one yeah so yeah if you do renown or you do anything you do unlock different colors as well so we're working through our renown at the moment blood spike beer Okay, cool. We do have our winding, we do have Algarian, and we do have the flourishing. I like this mount as well. It's very cool, man. You can get our cosmetic pets as well that suit that. So let's go back. Okay, so I'm going to take you to the Emerald Dream. Okay. Wait, what? Okay, that does happen. I'll take you to the Emerald Dream. I'll show you the Emerald Dream and I'll show you um, in here as well what's going on. Let's get rid of this. Oh, cool. So yeah, really happy with the content, guys. You know, it's, it's really beautiful the way they've done the game. I will get lost, knowing me. 
anyone that knows me through my other videos on other games, I tend to get lost. So let's not get lost. So yeah, the Emerald Dream is a campaign you must do, and I think it's, uh, if you've been playing World of Warcraft for a while, you would know, understand about the Emerald Dream, it, it just really resonates with a lot of people. So going to the encampment. I finished this campaign, so it does look a bit different for everyone else. Uh, I'll be spending a bit of time here. So this is what we're going to talk about, my friends, and I learnt the hard way, but I don't want you to make the same mistake I made, so I'm going to tell you all about it now. So when you're questing, and when you're doing um, the Emerald Dream campaign, you get um, gear drops, which is pretty normal for quest questing in World of Warcraft. Those gear drops, if they've got a little golden coin on them, uh, when you look in the, uh, the quest tab, and you look at the rewards, and you see one with a golden coin, or the arrow, that is the one you need to pick up, because that's an upgrade. And to upgrade, you come over here to the armorer, and you start your upgrading process. I was selling it off, my friends. I was selling stuff off. I was thinking, yeah, I've got the purple gear. It means nothing. So I've had to sort of go back and do a lot of the content again, do some questing, hoping for those drops. But pretty much what you need to do is once you start acquiring your gear, which is going to be blue items only, they will sort of give you a prompt. You do do a quest for this anyway. What do you seek? You can come over here and you can speak to... Gasolov, if I'm pronouncing that, I do apologise, my friend, if its pronunciation is wrong. And I'll bring up my character and say we'll go for the Chartreuse Champion's chest plates. So to upgrade, it's going to cost me the fl uh, 75 flight stones. Now you get flight stones all the way through the game, through questing, through drops, they, they, they're everywhere. So there's no problem, you will pick them up. And just go through the process all the way up to Explorer 8 out of 8, which is 300, and that will give you some top tier gear. This one I've done, um, I actually boosted it a bit uh, higher. I used some different crafting resources to do that. But yeah, that's generally my bit of information for you, my friends. Do not make Please the same mistake which you've made, and actually spun round and got rid of all that gear by selling it off. Keep it, you're going to upgrade it. And, yeah. As I said, the Emerald Dream for me is a bit different. Uh, I have finished the campaign. There's a few things. These are my... I'll be going into some raids very soon. I'm a bit nervous about that, to be quite honest. Um, I, maybe I might start practicing some dungeons. Um, another beauty about... This new expansion is the Follower Dungeons, which we're going to briefly go over, which we will do. I'll do another video for that as well, my friends. Do not worry. We do have the Dragonflight Follower System. It's only implemented in Dragonflight at the moment. Um, as they go forward, they will, uh, as we go through the expansions, I'm sure they're going to release it to other content. Kind of exciting about this because you're actually using your alts, from what I've read and seen, and uh, they will be your followers going into dungeons as we all know sometimes going to dungeons with other players can be a bit toxic unfortunately that's part of the what has happened sometimes um, I think we should get away from all that so this is going to be a better way of doing it as well so anyway with that we'll call it um, you know it's uh, been a pleasure to be back been a pleasure to be back in Azeroth to be quite honest I didn't think I'd be coming back so soon uh, enjoying the current content going to enjoy content going forward as well i managed to get myself into an amazing guild on moon guard where i'm playing and this guild have been very supportive and uh they will i'm sure in time help me get through later content as well but again thank you very much i look forward to seeing you all again and if you do like anything we're doing on the video please leave a comment below like subscribe share get the content out there if there's something you want me to do in game in world of warcraft put a comment below you know let me know what you want me to do like 
I, I'll play the game no matter what. But if there's something you'd like, or oh, go and do this peach mock, or go and do this, or do this um, old world raid, I'll do it. Let me know. Just drop a comment down below. I'm also thinking of doing another boost as well in the next couple of days. So maybe put down um, a comment on a boosted character as well. So maybe you'd like me to boost another character and we can play that together. Let me know in the comments below. But as always, be safe and I'll see you guys soon. Thank you.